So today I'm going to be doing my top five primers and this is a huge collaboration so I'll have everything in the description box down below. I think my video is one of the last videos to go up so I'm apologizing right now but I was literally like trying to find my favorites and then I was trying to have one in the video which I will have at the very end and I'll explain to you why it didn't work out and everything. So let's just get started with the top five. The first thing that we're going to start with is the cheapest and then we're going to go to the most expensive from the drugstore and these are all drugstore primers that you can find at Walgreens because every single one I found at Walgreens and I'll have the prices in this video also. This first one is actually cheaper at Target but you can get it at Walgreens and this is just a highly like you've pretty much I'm pretty sure everyone's heard of this and this is the elf eyelid primer and this one is in the color sheer and this one works really really well when I first started off with makeup this is the primer that I used because it was only a dollar and only a dollar is like really good and it also works really well I still use this even though I'm more into makeup now this is my favorite primer still so if you guys can compare this is actually the same color but this is what the primer does and this is just what it looks like um, you can tell it's a lot more bold in the color and then this is the one with it um, without the primer so this is without and this is with the primer so the next one is Wet n Wild Take on the Day Eyeshadow Primer and this is a prep and prime lasts all day never creases and this is in the color for my primas and this is by the Fergie collection from Wet n Wild this is a $4.99 primer and it's like rounded up to $5 and you can get this basically at any Walgreens in the Wet n Wild section so this one gives like a more bold and like pastel version of that color and then this one gives it a vibrant color and it's a little bit darker too okay so the next one is a five fifty seven dollars at Walgreens and this is by Rimmel London and this is called the exaggerate undercover shadow primer and this one has like with the differences but honestly I love this one because um, even though I've actually gone through like two or three of these, but I had to get a new one for this video and I figured I'd show you guys what it looks like in the packaging anyway. I don't really hear this one get talked about a lot on YouTube, but honestly I think this is like one of the good products from Rimmel London. I love Rimmel London products in general, but this is one that I think even if you like CoverGirl or Maybelline more, this one's something that I'm pretty sure everyone can enjoy. So this is the Rimmel London one right here, and if you can tell, it looks it's really similar to the Fergie one. They're both pretty similar in color and everything, and it's a decent swatch also. So the next one is the Magic Decrease Eyelid Primer by L'Oreal, and I love this one because it's one of those primers that it's tiny, there's not that much like packaging anyway, and it gives you a heck of a lot of product. So just to like clarify, this one is one of the more pricey ones. This one is $9.49 for this primer, but you know, they have so much product in it that it's going to last you a really long time. I don't know if you can tell, it's the one right here. It gives a different, kind of a different color than the other ones. This one's definitely like, it's like a deep purple. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, definitely like this color but it's not like the original color and it's not like the elf one this one's more pricey so honestly I would definitely recommend the Fergie one over that one but they're all really amazing this one is the most expensive one and this is by Revlon and this is their photo ready collection this is an eye primer and brightener so technically this does two things in one product so this one is ten dollars and I think 11 cents and then you can also find this at Walgreens and so this is just the applicator and it looks like my max factor one that I used to be so obsessed with it was my favorite thing ever so just putting it on the swatch it's crazy good this one explodes out of all the other colors I really like it because you can tell that it makes the color pop but honestly this one is the most expensive so you're getting the most bang for your buck and if you can tell that's the color at the end compared to that there's a huge difference the one with no primer definitely needs primer because it makes the color pop so much but yeah this is just in zero dark flirty and I used the eyelid color right here so if you guys can tell it did really well and I on to the next part so I know how in the beginning of the video I mentioned that I had like another product that I was gonna put in here and then I didn't but that was because I realized if you look at any of the packaging, okay, this is all really, really weird. So 
Sometimes they have like YouTube videos saying that they have comparable products that are not meant to go on your eyes, but yet people put them on their eyes. Anyone who wants to put like any type of anti-chafing gel, I've seen videos where they say it works, but honestly I don't recommend doing that because if you're going to be doing that and you're putting something on your eyes, I've checked any of them that I had at Walgreens and at Walmart. All of them say, caution, do not put around or near eyes, and yet people still say you should. So I just don't recommend doing that unless you're okay with having consequences in case something like that were to happen or result in something bad. Um, they obviously say don't do it for a reason. And another thing is, all these primers right here are from the drugstore and they do amazing. And you don't really need to go and buy something that's not meant for your eyes because your eyes are such an important part to your whole like body. But yeah, so these all range from $11, which is the highest at max, to $1. So these all range from 11 to $1 and they're all amazing because if you want to find a primer that works pretty well and it's not like the best but it still works really well, then I recommend the e.l.f. one. And if you want one that's crazy, vibrant, amazing, then I recommend the Revlon one. And if you want one that's in between, um, I recommend the Fergie one for sure because that one was hands down amazing. It was only $5. If you have $5 to spend and you want to check it out, definitely do that. And if you guys have any of these primers and you guys have a different um, view on it or if you guys like it also, just don't forget to leave your feedback down below. And don't forget to check out the top five for all the other things. There's going to be like foundations, eyeshadows, blushes, lipsticks. Um, I maybe lip glosses, possibly. There's going to be so many more products, and if you want to see their top five, go and check the links down below. I will hopefully have a playlist for you guys because I'm into playlists. I don't know if you guys are, but I like looking at playlists and just having it like play and just keep watching it. Go check out the description box because we all know that the description box is my favorite place to write important stuff. So if you guys are also new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I love getting new subscribers, especially you guys, because I love how loyal you guys are and I don't know I want you guys to see my videos so I hope you guys enjoyed bye